this depends on the definition of airborne and I think airborne is a word that is often misused by the mass media. This is a word that has a very specific meaning. When we talk about COVID-19 or other respiratory viruses, how they're actually spread is via something called droplets. When we talk or laugh, cough, sneeze, or even breathe, we are basically releasing droplets of various sizes from our nose and mouth. So these droplets are basically coming from our airways. And if we are infected with a respiratory virus, these droplets would contain infectious virus. People around us might directly inhale these droplets, or if they contaminate surfaces around us and somebody comes along and touches those surfaces and touches their hands or mouth, then they might get uh, the infection. So COVID-19 is certainly spread via droplets. The controversy is what is the size of the droplets that actually transmits COVID-19? Droplets come in a range of sizes. As I talk right now, I'm producing smaller droplets and larger droplets. The larger droplets drop to the floor very quickly. They're heavy, they're dense, so they sink to the floor within about one to two meters, right? The smaller droplets are the tricky ones. These stay airborne. This is what, this is what airborne means uh, from an infectious diseases perspective. These stay airborne for longer periods of time and they might actually enter the ventilation systems, air conditioning spread all over the place, right? The bulk of evidence to this stage suggests that COVID-19 is spread by the more larger droplets, medium to large size respiratory droplets that sink to the ground within one to two meters. Airborne transmission of COVID-19 may occasionally occur it has never been documented very clearly that it occurs and is certainly likely to be very rare. Situations where airborne transmission might occur would be in healthcare settings, where doctors or nurses perform procedures on patients that result in them producing a lot of droplets of various sizes. And we have actually been able to detect uh, SARS-CoV-2 in the air of uh, patients surrounding patients who have COVID-19 and this has been done in a hospital in China but it seems to be generally very uh, rare and of low quantity as an airborne pathogen. So to cut a long story short COVID-19 is spread by droplets. Most of the time it's spread by medium to large size respiratory droplets therefore social distancing, wearing a face mask when outside the home and hand hygiene remain the most important method to prevent acquiring COVID-19.